Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy SB or so Sabana and today I've got a new video and this is going to be a bit more of a more controversial video and this is the ban list and predictions of what could be hit on the uh, list and what to watch out for and what to watch out for is meaning like what cards could be hit because Konami can be complete pansies and ban the wrong stuff and just this this uh, what to watch out for is cards that could be hit but I don't think are necessarily going to be hit. And this is just my opinion, so please just respect that. And if you have your own opinion, just put that in the comment section below on what you think. But anyway, there's one thing I want to point out. Burning Abyss is not going to be on this list at all, altogether. No cards on here are Burning Abyss. Main reason why is because Burning Abyss are kind of gripping onto every single uh, card that can help them in the way they're hitting on Light Swans. They're coming onto uh, PK Fire, and the archetype is pretty dead now. So to be fair... Burning Abyss isn't going to be a problem, so don't worry, Dante. You're still going to stay at three, hopefully. But without further ado, let's hit on the ban list. Firstly, we've got Bahamut Shark, and Bahamut Shark is, I think we can all expect this to get banned. This is basically the exact same thing as fucking Ptolemyus. Like, seriously, what is the bloody difference? They both bring out rank three. Well, Bahamut Shark brings out rank three, and Ptolemyus brings out a rank five. Uh, hello? This is basically the same thing, except Bahamut Shark just just brings out totally awesome. And in the future, if Bahamut, if there are any war type uh, XYZs that are extremely strong, Bahamut Shark's just going to bring them out. So, yeah, there's not really much of a difference. So I'm sorry, Bahamut Shark Isha, but you really need to be banned. Next up is Elder Entity Norden. I think everyone knew this card was coming up on the list. This card is pretty stupid, I'm not going to lie. Uh, it's fucking splashed out in every single rank four deck, and any deck that can spe uh, that can just use it is just retarded. Like this, this uh, card because of Bahamut Shark is being in used in every single fucking deck, and it is retarded. And OCG it just banned it instantly. Was TCD they just didn't and were complete idiots and the one thing that I don't understand with uh, Elder Entity Norden is the fact that he doesn't negate the effects altogether I'm gonna go into a complete um, I'm gonna give you an example and that's uh, Elemental Hero Shadow Mist now Shadow Mist comes out on the field and its effect is negated but when it hits the graveyard his effect activates and that is just retarded so I think Norden needs to be banned and should have been banned from the start because pretty fucking busted. Next up is Vanity's Emptiness and this card is absolutely stupid and I really think it needs to be banned and it should be banned and it will be banned. The main reason for this is because it's a complete floodgate card. It just like completely just disallows you to special summon altogether and there's pretty much no counterplay to it. Unless you have something like a Twin Twister or an MST or something that can force your opponent to send stuff to the graveyard, there is no way in getting rid of this card. It is so stupid and it's like a complete... It's just so unfair. It has no cost. And the fact is, right, if you can compare Vanity's Fiend to it, Vanity's Fiend sure does the same thing, but has to be summoned and not cheaply activated. So that's why I think Vanity's Emptiness needs to be banned. It's kind of in every deck now and it's really stupid. Next up is Level Leads. Now, this bug I don't think is the biggest um, problem at the moment because, of course, Dark Synchro FTK is retarded and very annoying to come up against. Whoever I played, and you know who who you are, uh, who was using Dark Synchro, fuck you and fuck this card because it was so stupid. And one thing about it is it's just so stupid to get into the graveyard and it's not once per turn. I don't know if this card's going to get hit, but what's it called? The OCG decided to ban it and, of course, Konami Light to... Uh, like TCG decide to R swipe uh, OCG and will probably ban it. And yeah, it just reduces levels 24 7. But yeah, it's. I don't know if it's going to get hit, but that's just my opinion. Next up is Magispect to Unicorn Kira, and I think everyone expected this card to come on the list. Now, this card is one of the most splashable cards on air that can be used in fucking any Pendulum deck. It's searchable by this bitch who I don't think should be here because she's relatively fair. Uh, but Kirin is just a complete stupid card and is really badly designed. The fact is during any player's turn, it's not archetype-centric 
and cannot be fucking targeted. The only way you can get rid of this card is if you can run it over. And the fact is, by the time your monster comes out, it's pretty much just going to go back to your hand or back to your extra deck straight away. So it's like, you know what, GG, good luck. So next up, we're going to hit the limited list. And this is cards I think should be limited and what Konami could limit. Now, Speedroid Teratop is the first one on the, on the limited list. And now this card is pretty silly, to be fair. Very interesting and very stupid. A easy plays, rank 3 plays. Like, this was used a lot in Burning Abyss. And if, Burning, if this card gets hit, Burning Abyss gets hit indirectly so hard that there's no reason to hit anything it's free special summons which is pretty stupid and is rather dumb at the exact same time because like this was like back in the time it was easy dante out and if you in the future if there's any more rank three cards that are completely broken this card is going to be used to bring them out so yeah this card i think needs to go to one Next up is Solemn Strike. Now this card is unlimited at the moment. I think could be limited. It's not really on the top uh, ha like must be limited list. But the reason why I think it should be limited is just for the main reason that it's what well, could be limited is because it's a small price of 1,500. Like you might be thinking, yeah, you're paying that, but you're negating summons and activations, which is really stupid. I think at one, it's a lot more fair because you can compare it to Solemn Warning a little bit, but I think at one, it's just a bit more fair to be at one. Next up is Cyframe Lord Omega, and Cyframe Lord Omega is <laughs> kind of a silly card at three. I mean, it's very overpowered. It's during either player's turn and very easy to bring out. But I'm going to compare it to Crystal Wing, right? Crystal Wing, you have to uh, bring it out during using another synchro. This, on the other hand, you don't. It's only uh, it's easy to bring out with one tuner and one non-tuner, and you can and you can just continuously banish cards. You banish cards, it's pretty overpowered, and it's during either player's turn. At one, it's a lot more fair. I mean, it can be targeted and so and so, but at three, it's pretty stupid. And there's an easy Omega loop you can do. It's hard to explain, but it's there and it's pretty stupid. Anyway, next up is Union Hanger. It was limited in OCG and the card just has so much good utility. It's a free search. It's a good field spell. I mean, like ABC at the moment is a top tier deck. I'm not sure if it should be hit because like there's not really much of a meta. The only meta really is just like Paleozoic. Metal Foes and uh, of course a uh, ABC. So it's like not really much of a of a uh, not really much of a meta at the moment. It's kind of only three decks. So it's really just like hard to think: should it be hit or should it not be hit? Next up is Anti Spell Fragrance, and now this card is just putting in way too much work. I mean, it completely destroys pendulums altogether, like literally altogether. They can't do fuck all if this card's out on the field, and it has to be destroyed. Like spells and traps are in an extremely um, awkward position at the moment. Like, there's not really many um, good spells and traps that can really survive, and like so many decks are um, are very centric on on uh, spells and traps now that like if this card just stays at three it's just really stupid so i think at one very side decky and very fair anyway here's the cards to watch out for and now this is a gonna be and i'm gonna just explain something for a minute you gotta remember konami are complete ass wipes and tcg are complete idiots and they just really really like to um to copy the uh ocg so that's point one Point two is that Konami are retards at the same time and like to ban the wrong cards or cards that no one even gives a shit about. Um, not much to say there. Kaiser Coliseum, why ban? But I'm just going to tell you this. These are cards that you should just keep a close eye out on because like this, these cards can just randomly get hit because Konami have full control on what they hit. So firstly is Pot of Desires. And now this is a very arguable card. Right, this is very game changing because like sure you banish ten cards, but this is drawing two cards as well. Like two cards is a lot in meta decks, and like if you can open that in first turn and make a massive play, Jesus Christ. Like it's used in literally every single deck. It was like I think it had like a hundred percent play rate in uh the recent YCS and it's just really fucking stupid. And it's like the best card in the current format. So so good. But at the same time, the reasons why I think it shouldn't be here is like Konami are just trying to make a bit of money at the moment. Like it's 
a card that like to be fair has made them so much money for the price that it's going for it's like 50 60 pounds online or probably about 70 dollars so it's really overpowered and i think it just needs a bit more time to just figure out where the card's going Next card is Instant Fusion. Now this is only if Norden doesn't get hit. I don't really think it should be hit, so I'm not really going to say much. But if Norden doesn't get hit, I think Instant Fusion will get hit. I mean, there's not really many other level 5 or lowest um, fusion monsters that are OP. And apart from Norden, nothing's really OP at all. So I don't think Instant Fusion should be hit. But Konami and Melons. Uh, next up is Dimensional Barrier. I think this should be hit because it's just really, really unfair. It's very broken at three because like the fact that it's got no cost you can just declare a monster like a monster type and just completely prevent your opponent uh, from summoning or and uh, that sort of monster and just negates everything for fuck's sake it's stupid so konami i think at one is fine like konami at the same time are just trying to make money the card hasn't been out for a long time and it's again similar to part of desires has made them a lot of money Next up is Terraforming. Now, Terraforming I don't think really needs to be hit, but it's a card that you need to keep an eye out on because, like, it is a free search, and at the moment, uh, spell cards or um, field spells are extremely overpowered, like Union Hanger and Sky Iris, but Sky Iris isn't really as OP. But I think the problem is if they hit Terraforming, it really kills weak decks, like, what's it called? Felgrand, for example, because Dragon Ravine is at 2 for some dumb reason. Um... And they really need to be able to search that Dragon Ravine and other other decks like Cosmo and stuff. Terraforming is a must-have card in that. And like if they hit it, then it just ruins consistency and ruins the plays altogether. And I think if there's uh, any other OP field spells, they should just be hit instead. Next up is Allure of Darkness. I think this card could be back to semi-limited. Like, it's good. But used in extreme, like used in every deck, it's like that can use dark monsters. But to be fair, it's splashable, but not as splashable as Pot of Desires. So I think if anything needs to be a hit, it's Pot of Desires first. Next up is the Toad himself. No, not that Toad. This Toad. Now, I think Totally Awesome is pretty stupid, but at the same time, it's just because Bahamut Shark is there and it's just, just destroying every other deck. Anyway, this card is just stealing cards, destroying shit, and goes back to the extra deck afterwards. But be again, Bahamut Shark is there, and Konami needs to create that some money now. Like this card is just like was so well anticipated for, and if they hit that, they've just t hit, they've just upset tons and tons of fans. And like it hasn't been around for a long, long time. And I think just again, it should be for rank two decks. So I think just Bahamut Shark Isha just needs to be hit and banned. So you know. It's just very archable there. Anyway, that is it for this video. If you enjoy it, make sure to hit that thumbs up button and leave a comment below. If we could just get some nice likes on it, it would be really, really nice. And subscribe for more because I will be updating more. Anyway, it's been your boy SB and I'm signing out. Peace.